welcome to the show and in the house today we have a group of young ladies and gentlemen welcome <laughs> and on our menu we have a favorite around the world it is pasta and we are taking on spaghetti we're going to be serving it with meatballs also back in the house is Buki. we'll be right back If you travel around the world, you will find out that there is no place like Nigeria. Beautiful, peaceful, very warm and friendly climate all year round. Largest concentration of black people in the world. Hospitable, vibrant and happy people. There is no place like Nigeria. A land of opportunities. The biggest winner in the world of business and investments. Extremely rich in multicultural diversity. There is no place like Nigeria. Nigeria, truly the heart of Africa. From the Nigerian Tourism Development Corporation, tourism is life. We'll just go to our menu. We have pasta, spaghetti. We also have for our sauce, minced meat, flour, cooking oil, tomato, the one you make at home, tomato paste, the one with the peppers in it. And for our seasoning, we have uh, first the seasoning cubes, then we have spices here, white pepper, curry, and basil. This is a herb. We have salt, onions, ginger, garlic, olive oil. And, of course, this is the fresh tomato, but we already have it pasted. We're just going to get on with it. We have uh, water on the burner. We're going to add to the water some oil. A little cooking oil goes in there while it heats up. I'm also going to add some salt to that. So, that starts heating up for the spaghetti. Now, for this uh, sauce, we're going to add to our minced meat. This is about one kilogram of minced meat. We're going to add some salt. Then we're going to add some white pepper. and a little bit of curry. Then two cubes of beef seasoning. To this, I'm going to sift like three spoons of flour. to give that a good mix now the flour is so that the meat will have a matrix you need something to hold the meat together so you put in a little flour give it a good mix so that all that seasoning gets properly mixed up. We're just going to let that stand for a bit and uh, we'll make some space, chop half an onion and add to the mixture. This is a really large onion so we're going to take half of this and try to chop it as fine as possible. going to add that to the mince. All right.
inside to give it another mix everything everything all the goodness goes inside the minced meat and minced meat cooks really quickly so that's why i said it's really simple you don't need a lot of cooking time to make this meal so we're going to keep that aside and then uh, we're going to roll them into meat boils shortly. We're going to check on the water if it's boiling, our pasta goes in the water. So we'll be right back. While the spaghetti is boiling, we are going to make our minced meat into meatballs. I will put some flour, a little more flour in the sift. Get my hands all floured up. Okay. And then I roll. it all sorted out now we're going to keep that aside and then we're going to chop the um, ginger and the garlic that goes in the sauce we're going to start the sauce shortly but because we've been hearing so much talk about pasta we're just going to find out where pasta started or maybe we're just going to find out why people love pasta so much Take a look at this. Food lovers around the world appreciate pasta. The romantic arguments about where it originates, whether Greece, China or Italy, is as tangled as a bowl of noodles. It has graced tables for thousands of years. Pasta is made from a variety of wheat flour mixed with water or eggs. It is then cut into various shapes, of which there are over a hundred. From lasagna, ravioli, tagliatelle, macaroni, twist, spaghetti to noodles, vermicelli and fellini. The list is endless. Pasta is versatile because it mixes well with vegetables, meats and sauces. From the basic macaroni and cheese to the exotic seafood recipes, it is a delight. Pasta provides mainly carbohydrates, especially starch. It also contains vitamins B1, B2, and some minerals. Nigeria. Nuko boda jama to no wani neba burubura bala afo iri ise noto. I be the rate your wine. Mabo independence na super care. Ogi iru lage kuse se moku tibozo bo na guajo ndi azo weke buting kewani titai. Ogi mbahari rugo. Ogi funa rugo. Kaju fu bireme makodi ma Nigeria. Nigeria. Really the tone shofu wara to intiwa kwe omodu moko lela dota ba iti abu minera. Asiko to lati dekun ijale eme ya telesi mese la ni arawa. Abadjo wala mofi soya, eje kakbaru kuti Nigeria kubali kese jari. Amo sheshu. Nigeria kasame albarka, tachika shekeru amsende na andamu kasamu inchen kamu. Lele, wanda loke chile nabada, shawar wale na masumma. Mahana gwe da juna. Madena kashikashi ya kaka dini kuku makabe lanche. Babu bambanchi saka nimu. Deke mu ayane agabang allame kwa mime kwa. Mubaa gomene tindeke kangado. Kwa yombaya do minchi gaban Nigeria. As with the jolly say Nigeria don't act 51 year. The Ogun game at away for Grand Nabi say, make we stop to the kill ourselves. Say because I come from South, you come from North. You be Muslim, I be Christian. Ah ah, all of us are the same thing. But we no agree make it devil's body is better work. We got us now for Nigeria. Nigeria now our own. This is better message from NTDC. Our spaghetti has been cooking for about 10 minutes now. 
if you want your spaghetti just right, you should not cook it for more than 10 minutes. So we're going to turn it out now. Here, rinse too. If you want, you can put a lid on it here in the strainer, or you can put it back in your pot once it's fully strained and keep it warm. It has to be warm. So we'll just put it back in our pot. Right. I'm going to add some teaspoons of olive oil to that. It's just to give it some flavor. As much as you like. And now our spaghetti is ready. You notice that I did not break it, which is what some ladies do, but you shouldn't break your spaghetti. If you want a shorter pasta, go for macaroni. We quickly Chop the ginger. From here is just quick work. So we'll set the heat on the second saucepan so we can quickly make our sauce. Two cooking spoons of oil. This is a dip spoon though. Two spoons of that. And we'll set that to start heating up. If you like garlic, well, the Italians, they cook with a lot of garlic and Italians love pasta. But we're going to go easy on the garlic. Okay, do you like spaghetti? Okay, no wonder you're drumming so hard. <laughs> but I like, I like that. <laughs> That's nice. The rest of the onions. chopped onions. All of this goes in the oil. And then it will begin to gently fry. Let that begin to fry. As I always say, this is our basic uh, tomato mix. You mix your tomato with uh, our peppers, you blend, and then you boil until it's thick. So we just gently, we want it to fry gently. We don't want the onions and the ginger and the garlic to burn. So we started from a very low heat. As the oil is heating up, the uh, ingredients, that's the onions and the ginger, will start frying together with the oil. So we're just going to give that a little time. When it comes up and starts frying, then we'll add the rest of the stuff. When we do that, we'll now bring on our special guest. Don't you go away.
you travel around the world, you will find out that there is no place like Nigeria. Beautiful, peaceful, very warm and friendly climate all year round. Largest concentration of black people in the world. Hospitable, vibrant and happy people. There is no place like Nigeria. A land of opportunities. The biggest winner in the world of business and investments. Extremely rich in multicultural diversity. There is no place like Nigeria. Nigeria, truly the heart of Africa. From the Nigerian Tourism Development Corporation, tourism is life. We have right here in the studio our very special guest, Inya Ode. Welcome. Thank you so much, Edith. Um, first of all, I want to find out, yeah. how did you get into radio? Wow, that's a long story. Are you sure you're ready for it? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I got into radio by passion, basically. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do. I had run away from it, but I found my way back. Um, I actually went to school to study veterinary medicine. So I was in school at ABU Zaria for a number of years. I don't want to mention it now <laughs> because it's scary. But anyway, um, got out of school, worked for a few years, and I still had the drive to go into radio. And I said, well, might as well just follow it. And that's where I am today. Okay. So right now you're in KISS FM. Yes, I am. And I follow your program every evening on the radio. Why? Because I'm stuck in the holdup on my way home. <laughs> like my colleague Charles says, it's okay. the best place to be. Yes. <laughs> so, well, you, you can't help it. Mm -hmm. And while you're on radio, I yeah. listen to you because you're very natural. Okay. I, that's like a compliment because other voices I hear on radio, yeah. they have these fake affectations. Why do we have presenters that do that? Do you know? You know, I think um, we're trying to be too westernized. Uh, westernized in the sense of our language, our dressing, everything about us has to be westernized. And that's where I see the fake accents all coming in, you know, and people want to talk like they really, really don't, you know. They don't really talk that way. But I think it's something we really need to look into. Because if you don't talk that way, why should you force it? And you know, uh, sometimes when you force it, it becomes really very irritating. Annoying. <laughs> irritating. It is, is the irritating. Word. I do turn off some channels when the uh, presenter comes on and she or he is doing a fake accent. Right. It turns me off, and I just switch the channel off, mm. or I go to another channel. So, but you, you actually, from the, the first day I heard you on radio, I, I did not know your name, I did not know your program, right. but you were talking in a way that I could understand because there was this just thing in what you were saying <laughs> and I am a just girl and I was like why is this girl doing this just thing I don't know what you mean I can't put my finger on what the just thing yeah. is but it's, it comes There's naturally yes and you should just you were just talking like that. I said this girl must be from just <laughs> I know now do you enjoy what you're doing absolutely positively I do I do and I guess the just thing you're talking about is because I grew up in I was born in Joss okay. I was bred in Joss I, I like I always say I was born bred buttered jammed cheesed everything in Joss except for university I went to Zaria okay. to school but all my you know my primary school my nursery primary uh, secondary school was all in Joss so that's where it all comes from I enjoy what I do I it's a passion like I said and hey I'm I, I'm, get, I'm getting paid for what I enjoy. So, so how long good. have you been doing this radio thing? I started with Kiss FM in March last year, March of 2010. So that's where I have been. Okay, but prior to that, did you do anything else on radio? Not at all. Um, my brother happened to work in a radio station here in town for a while. So I remember going on his show for the interviews here, and he would just call me up to interview me and stuff. So. Those are the only radio experience, you know, that, that I've had. Besides that, honestly, no. Oh. Really. So, well, that, that, that is quite interesting. So, 
Well, when you go on a radio show, yeah. is there anything special you should do beforehand? Because sometimes some of the shows on radio, I'm, I'm thinking, this is not FM stuff. This is uh, <laughs> AM stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm hearing, okay, I don't, I don't mind traditional stuff on radio yeah. if you're making it entertaining. But they're talking about farm products and it's farm produce <laughs> and farm equipment and it's on FM station. Do you think that is right? Well, it depends on the station. Um, a radio station runs with some money. You need money, you know, and the only way we get money is by those programs coming in, into being. Uh, I think radio stations are to reach out to people. And if, if some way to reach out to someone is, you know, by letting them know some farm issues, you know, what's going on around us, uh, then I think it's fine. It's not all about the music. The music is great, you know, but some good talk should also come into it. So if it's going to reach out to people, then hey, let it go. Right. That's nice to know. And uh, when you think up a topic for your show. What The name of your show, that's uh, After Work? Okay, I, I run the After Work show. I have a health show also, okay. coming from my veterinary background. And um, the Sunday show, the gospel show. Yes, I, I listen to that, yeah, I know that. Sunday. But the one that's really popular that the I listen to all the, is the After Work show, because right. as I said, I'm in the hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, now if any of these young people thought to follow their dreams, what, what would you say would be the reason? What, what would be the motivating thing? Because there are so many stumbling blocks out there when you want to chase your dream mm. uh, yes there are many stumbling blocks there's financial issues there's you know confusion many of our youth today are confused they don't know what to do like me I was confused for a while because I ran away from what <laughs> I really love doing but I'm back there now okay. I think if you're pursuing your dream you should put it in, in God's hands I'm a spiritual person I believe in God and I know my life is all about God you know um, just put it in God's hands to direct you. Many people are looking for direction today and they're looking in the wrong places. But if you look in the right place, which is looking to God, no matter your religion, look to God to direct you. You can definitely get direction for the funds, for all the things that you need. As you believe, as you have that faith in God, those things will all naturally fall in place. Uh -huh. That's what I believe. That's good. How do you think of the topics for your show, the after work show? You know, many people have asked me that, and I keep saying one thing, it's God. There are sometimes I go on the show, yes, I have my script, I have, you know, what I intend the show to look like, but I don't have what I'm gonna talk about. So I could just think of something, okay, maybe, talk about this now or something just drops in I my mean, head. really more, more of human angle because there was exactly. one this one time the house help ran away right. and at that exact time my, my house my house help ran away and but I so couldn't stop mine. in traffic and, <laughs> <laughs> and say okay girl my own house help just ran you away know, and I went looking for her it, but you were just talking about something that a lot of women would go through, through on a good day exactly. and then this last I think last night was um the lady that lived with somebody uh, for, for seven, seven years, years and the guy up and married someone else. Like, that is so and that's, crazy. That's, <laughs> you know, why, why I usually bring all these things up is because they're things we go through every day and nobody's saying anything about it. So, you know, I could read something in the paper and it becomes a topic. Uh, someone sends me a message, just like yesterday's show. Someone actually asked, sought my advice and I, I, I gave her my, my advice and I just thought, okay, might as well just bring it to radio and hear what people have to say. And the that, response was The response was else. enormous. I mean, I got, we have, we have a Facebook account. I got 65 comments and counting. So you can just imagine, we've never got that number of comments on any issue. So you can just imagine how the response was to that. Okay, yeah. that's nice to know. So you have a family of your own. And sorry for me, uh, I said house help, right? The new word, the politically correct word is how your word. Right. Your, your word, okay. Your word ran help. away. My <laughs> word ran away. <laughs> it's a word. Okay, yeah. so um, you have a family of your own. Yes, I do. Um, married will be four years in November. My husband uh, works in AIT. And um, I have two children, uh, Daniel and Catherine. Daniel is well, Daniel will be three next month, and Catherine will be one this Career month. Career woman, wife, 
and mother. How do you juggle all of that? God's grace. <laughs> and, you know, and in the broadcast industry, you also work odd hours, don't you? Very odd hours. But you're coping? Uh, we, we find a way around it. You know, it, it, it kind of helps. And I thank God for this, that my parents are in town. So, you know, my mom helps with her grandchildren. So I'm like, okay, good. All right. Good place to be. Great All place right. to be. All you right. Know. Your mind is at peace when you're at Something work. Something like that. All Something right. Something like that. And uh, when you want to relax, what do you do? Do you listen? Do you have a favorite track? Apart from Anya, oh, Anya, Ule, Ule. What is that oh, so song? So you're mean? not the only one that. <laughs> so many people have said that's my favorite that's song. That's your favorite song. But it's not even my language, but I just love how wow. the voice is. And I was, I, I was saying, I'm going to ask her what that means. I, it, it, it's actually a song of Thanksgiving. It's in Idoma, Amebira. But it's in Idoma language, and um, it's, it's a song of thanksgiving, giving thanks to God, you know, with a grateful heart. Uh, I love that song so much. In fact, I can't pinpoint and say, this is the song I love. I'm very eclectic when it comes to music, but I have some bias for jazz, for R&B, and for gospel. All right, and when you relax, what do you do? I read, I sleep. I love sleeping, Sha. <laughs> you know, yeah. when I when I have the time, yes. I sleep. sleep. Sleep is good, especially um, if you're from Jaws. Right. You know, Jaws weather can make you sleep. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I I also love cooking. All right. Seriously, you love I do. cooking. Uh, yes, right. I do. We're going to eat something on the show today. Oh, yummy! Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so I those are the things I love doing. I read a lot too. I love reading. Okay. And I think uh, the the good book that you've read lately. Hmm. Frank Peretti, obsessed. We'll leave it at that. We're going to eat spaghetti and meatballs. Thank you for coming on the show. Inya Ode, Kiss FM. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that's the size of our package. We'll do it again, same time next week. So, do join us. <laughs>